Hey everybody, Mike B back here with another video. A little bit more calm today, not having as bad of a day as I was uh, on Monday. It's a Friday, so that's a good thing. Um, in that video that I posted about the difference, or does it matter to call out, you know, yourself building an AR or assembling an AR, if you're, you know, building it from parts and whatnot, and how that actually doesn't matter because the definitions are interchangeable and they're exactly the same, and both the words were used correctly in context. Um, I saw a lot of you guys posting that um, it's the same concept as the clip versus magazine argument. And I actually disagree with that 100%. And here's why. Um, there's a lot of videos and there's been a lot of articles on, you know, people being condescending assholes. Or, it's not a clip, it's a magazine. And I'm just going to explain to you why, like, it actually does matter because there is a difference. Um, saying build and assemble... You're basically saying the exact same thing, courtesy of the English language. We have 20 different words to say the exact same thing. Just use it in different contexts. I guess people that spoke English got bored over the years and said, oh, we don't have enough words, so let's just make another one up that means the exact same thing. Anyway, so a clip is a piece of metal. Usually it's uh, one or two, possibly three pieces of metal. that usually holds the rim of the cartridge or at the base of the cartridge nonetheless. And they're usually five rounds. There are, you know, five, 10, and 15 round clips that do not directly feed the weapon itself. Like you can't feed, like this is made for an FN 49, right? Semi-automatic rifle. You can't feed the weapon using this clip solely. Like you can't just put the clip in and it works. You have to actually load the magazine of the weapon. And in that case, it's an external box magazine like this that can also be fed from the top of the receiver via clips. So that's a very interesting kind of hybrid. There are very few, if any, weapons that are actually fed directly by a clip like this. End blocks are different things. End blocks, like in an M1 or a Steyr M95 or a Carcano, that's different. That's a different design that's kind of based off of a packet design from like the Gewehr 88 series weapons. And um, that's meant to stay in the rifle or the firearm while it's being fired and it usually drops out or pops out the top in the last shot. That's not technically a clip, it's an end block, but I'll do that in another video. But this is a clip, right? This is a magazine, okay? This is an external box magazine, like I just said. A lot of rifles, like so far we're gonna be loading into a Springfield Model 1903 with this clip. I would not be loading the rifle itself, I would be loading the magazine, okay? And then the magazine would feed the round into the chamber, et cetera, et cetera. I know I'm breaking this down to like very, basic new gun owner like levels here but i was kind of uh weary of seeing those comments in there from people who are gun owners how it doesn't matter and it actually does matter in context because saying that a clip and a magazine are the same thing and it's interchangeable and it doesn't matter uh to an extent you're, you're correct like if you say i got you know five clips from my hk usp 45 i'd be like well, I know what you're saying, I get that, but it just kind of helps to preserve the correct nomenclature in the gun community. I mean, there's enough people attacking the gun community um, politically and just kind of socially and otherwise. I'm not gonna get into that shit because it's not even worth getting upset about because it's so overdone and who cares. But anyway, so it kind of helps if you've got a community who actually takes their nomenclature of you know different parts of uh, you know their hobby and weapons and stuff seriously and knows the difference between the two. So that's basically, I mean, it, it'd be along the same lines of saying um, the barrel of the rifle and the cleaning rod. If you've got like a K98 or a, you know, old school Mauser of any kind or Mosin Nagant. They're both long, they're round, they're on, along the same part of the weapon, but they're two entirely different things. So if you were to just go by appearance and use those interchangeably, you're going to be confusing people. Well, is it the clearing rod, a cleaning rod, or is it the barrel? What is it? So it's kind of the same thing here. And I'm not trying to be a snob or an asshole. I'm not being condescending. I'm literally just explaining that there is a physical difference between a clip and a magazine. Um, now, it, yeah, I just said it does matter because they are so different and it really helps to know what you're talking about. If you're a more advanced or you know, you've been collecting firearms longer, uh, for the most part, you should know the difference. And usually when I'm talking to somebody that's been in it for a while, you can tell because they talk about a magazine or a clip being not interchangeable. They're two separate things. They work together sometimes, um, but they are not exactly the same. And then if I see someone that's either new at the hobby or you know, doesn't own guns but is into them, 
or is very anti-gun, they're going to be the people that call a magazine a clip because I don't know they heard it in video games in the 90s and I don't care if you heard it on a video game or you read it in a book or whatnot, it's technically not correct. So um, just, yeah, just kind of, it's not like a lecture video and I'm telling you to, you know, what to do. I'm just saying if, if you now understand there's a difference, maybe it'll help you out to, to use the words not interchangeably because they are two different things. Like, I mean, worst case scenario, you say, oh yeah, I need, I need 10 clips for my FAL, right? I need 10 clips for my FAL. And somebody sends you 10 of these to load the magazines for your FAL. There's going to be a bit, bit of a difference there, right? So it just helps with miscommunication and whatnot. And it just kind of shows that you know what you're talking about a little bit and you're more advanced into the hobby itself. And yeah. So anyway, hope that really helped out. I don't know how better to explain it. Um, I mean, a, a magazine, the rounds are going to be enclosed, generally speaking, uh, for the most part. They're going to be enclosed, whereas a clip, they're going to be exposed, except for the base of the cartridge. Um, even in like a 1903 or a bolt action rifle with an internal magazine, the rounds are still going to be covered in that magazine within the, the weapon itself. So if that makes sense too, that's another great way to tell, tell the distinction um, or explain it to somebody that doesn't know the difference. So yeah. All right. Hopefully that covered all of our bases and you learned something. And I'm just, just wanted to be very clear that I, I don't agree with that at all. And that, and there was more than one person. So don't, if you, if you commented, it's not, I'm not singling you out. I definitely saw four or five different people say the exact same thing. And these are people who I believe to be um, in the firearm community and know what they're talking about. And it just kind of, kind of worried me to see that, you know, it was, Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's really not. Again, yes, I'll know what you're talking about, but then I automatically assume that you don't know anything about guns. I'm going to probably talk to you differently than if you said, oh yeah, I have a magazine for this, you know, or I got five magazines and blah, blah, the other day and they work great. I'm like, okay, yeah, you're speaking my language and now we can talk and whatever. So again, not being kind of saying not singling anybody out or being pissy, just wanted to make it very clear. Hopefully I've done that. Hopefully I haven't ranted too long. Um, thanks for watching everybody. I do appreciate that. If you're new, consider supporting the channel, even if you're not new. And the link is in the description for that. Also, you can check out my online store. I sell military surplus items and gear, equipment, and clothing, all that stuff, and collectibles sometimes, like these guys right now. Uh, Rhodesian FAL magazines. So anyway, appreciate you watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.